Well, good morning, expats and travelers alike. I'm Josh. And I'm Kaylee. And if you didn't know, this is our 2024 cost of living video where for 30 days, we log every euro spent. Every single one. So let's go. All right. We have our produce box from Quinta Teja Viva. There's a little backstory about that, but essentially it's a produce box with at least three kg of produce and um, it's 10 euros. It's actually eight euros plus two for delivery fee, but 10 euros. A friend you might recognize popped into town and wanted to meet up for beers. Cheers, man. Cheers, brother. All right, day one, dinner time. I'm not gonna do this every time, but I do wanna show you what we eat kind of on a general basis so you know what's in the fridge. So it kind of gives you context to what our grocery orders are like across the month. The turkey is from last week. This is actually from the last produce order. And then we got this and then also the squash. This is a kale, I believe. After dinner and putting Sia to bed, I met back up with Dave for another round. At the end of each day, we'll show you our daily totals. We took the Metro to Pavot de Varzing to shoot a city guide and I was hungry by the time we arrived. Kaylee just wanted coffee. We are in Pavoda of Arzine right now and there's a restaurant on the Michelin Guide, so we're checking it out. The executive lunch menu is 11 euros, which includes soup, your choice of two different plates of the day, bread, coffee, and dessert. Excited. Yeah, this looks really yummy. <laughs> we added water, which wasn't included. Okay, both dishes were really yummy and now I'm ready to check out the dessert menu. Looking for a craft for CS school to decorate. I think this will work. We went into H&M looking for us. <laughs> Josh and me didn't find anything, but found a few things for Sia, of course. Day three, pancakes. What do you think? Good. Eggies are good. The pancakes are well. Eggies are good. Pancakes are well. The pancakes Eggies. are good too. Pancakes as well. Pancakes. And there are our leftovers. Ta -da! I had to go into Sephora to pick up a few things. Okay, so we just popped into a thrift shop because Kaylee and I both need costumes for a party that we're going to uh, in about a week's time. So we want to get low cost costumes for it. It's color blocking. Let's see how that turns out. What is up? We are here at FC Porto. This is not a daily expense because we've already paid for our season tickets. We'll let you know how much it costs per match. Let's go. Anything? Water. Unlike at American Professional Sports, prices here in Portugal are only marginally more expensive than going to a normal bar or restaurant. We have three season tickets, which works out to 27 euros per person per match. Forza! Come on, Porto! So we just finished a quick stop in Caldas de Hegos. Yes. Right? And um, Sia had a croissant, I had a coffee and a pastry. It's very cheap, actually. Antonio picked up the, the croissant the pastry and the coffee was two euros and 30 cents. Uh, really cute place, family owned, very nice. Very tranquil here on a Sunday. Antonio is our landlord and we have developed a great relationship with his family. He wanted to show us a different side to Portugal so we spent the day with them. They refused to let us pay, but we wanted to show you the amazing food and hospitality of the Portuguese. I wasn't even recording. Nuh-uh. Everybody knows that daddy's gotta be and mommy's gotta lie. How about that four? Good, way better than Italy. <laughs> 
So we're just sitting at a little cafe because Sia had asked for some juice and we normally don't have juice in the house. So we said, okay, we'll go to a little cafe near where we live and get her a juice and then just grab a drink. Good morning. I had to run Sia to school um, and we had to take an Uber because a threat of rain, really. Not raining, but didn't want to get caught pushing a stroller in the rain. So took an Uber, just under three euros. Not bad walking home. I'm ordering groceries online right now. You can do this from Pingo Dose, Continent, uh, any of the big ones. And so we normally do from Pingo Dose just because of where we live. So if you go over a hundred euros and you get free delivery, and of course they have promotions and stuff going on. So I tend to do this when we have a large amount of things that we need to order so that I can just have it delivered and have them bring it up right to the door. All right, we just wrapped up 30 minute consultations at Koof with the family doctor. It was 15 euros a piece. Well, I just ordered groceries, which means we don't have food at home. So Josh and I are out to eat uh, at a little local place. I really like Alieda and I'm gonna get it spicy. I normally don't get it spicy, so let's see how it is. And I've ordered the croquettes, shrimp croquettes, which I don't often see on menus. And it's usually not like a, a meal, it's usually an appetizer. So let's see how it's served what it tastes like. I'm a fan of soup. I ordered a traditional Portuguese soup called Caldo Verde. Kaylee's spicy alligator. It's nice. It's time to try the croquette. Mm. Sounds crunchy. It's amazing crunch. Very light flavor, light shrimp flavor. It's awesome. Creme Catalan, or Catalana here. <laughs> Kaylee's gonna go for it. Yes, I am. It's almost like creme brulee, isn't it? Creme yeah, yeah, Catalan. Yeah, yeah, crisp to the top. Mmm. Mmm. Deliciosa. Really good. The dessert was good, but these chocolates caught my eye for the road. They charge you at the time of purchase, but if some of your items are out of stock, they reimburse you after delivery, so it could end up being less than 100 euros. Okay, so Sia got up a little late this morning, but also it's raining, so we have to take a car. Uh, Uber says it is gonna be 294, so not bad. Our weekly produce box has arrived, and this time we got eggs, too. We met Steve in Guimaraes to film for the interview we did with him, and while there, we grabbed lunch with him and his wife. The weather wasn't great, and I didn't eat enough at brunch, so we popped into a little cafe to escape the rain and grab a snack. The bus terminal is connected to the mall, so before grabbing our bus back to Porto, we ran into CNA because we're still looking for items to complete our color blocking outfits. The weather's really bad, so taking a car to and from to pick up Sia at school. Another rainy day, another day we have to take a car. But today is carnival, so Sia gets to dress up. This weekend is very packed with stuff and it starts this afternoon. Kaylee and I ran out of time because I was working on a video edit, so we're having to take a car, even though the weather's actually nice outside, for now. up to see a <laughs> school and uh, we're gonna do something for carnival. Picking up some after school snacks, it's Friday. Sia was very excited to be going with us, leaving school early. So, let's enjoy. Daddy? Yes. Uh, um, is that bubbly water? That's bubbly water. My brand of choice. Better. For you? For you? Yes, for me. <laughs> All right, it's mini golf time with a couple friends and kids. Where are we? There we are. It's 14 for an adult and 12 for kids that are older than three. So, see ya, we had to pay 12 for it. All right, so I'm here at my favorite print shop printing off a gift card for the, the party that we're going to tonight. So here's the print shop. It's 
get it done. I took Sia to the print shop with me. We included the price to print off the gift card in the overall price. I then took Sia next door to grab an ice cream before heading home. Like we said, this was a busy weekend. So before the birthday party, we went to a Lunar New Year or Chinese New Year dinner we were invited to. Seeing why Will and Scott's was awesome, and now we have a 40th birthday to go to. So we're excited about that. We're gonna drop Sia off at a babysitter. Well, with a babysitter. So take a hike. I'm just kidding. I love you. At the birthday party. I'm going to a rave. So there's the birthday boy, and this is color blocking. He chose this attire to add a splash of color to the white decor of the room. He hired a bartender with unlimited drinks. And then later on in the night, out came the food. It was a night of eating, drinking, dancing, and celebrating our friend turning 40. Now in Portuguese. trips you get a free 111 14 euro we have a few friends who are chiefs fans so they decided to host a small super bowl party it was a late night here and since the game went into overtime we decided to leave to get see home we had the game on josh's phone though all right it's the day after uh the super bowl and there's a modified schedule at school so we're gonna take a car because we're running very late. Look, I got The modified schedule is not for the Super Bowl, but for Carnival, so Sia can yet again wear a costume to school. Today's a day off from school, so we've made a nice lunch, and then we've got some activities later today because it's Carnival time. It's in half. All right, I'm here at a place called Colaby Fun Park for Carnival for Sia. The kiddos are playing and the adults are upstairs where you can watch them play, grabbing some drinks. After the kids played, we walked to CNC Artisanal Food to grab pizzas with friends. One reason we're going out a bit more is because we have a friend in town with the daughter Sia's age, so we're out and about with them. It's getting late and we're nowhere near a bus or metro that can get us home, so we grabbed an Uber. It is a warm day today, so a little family time at Covello Park. It's also Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. Uh, 180 for a beer and 140 for the Calipo. While we wait for our friends to arrive, I top up our phones through our Millennium app. So it's rare this happens in Porto, but the driver uh, missed his turns a bunch. And we were late for school by a few minutes, which Kaylee and I do not like, but it is what it is on a rainy day. More of the green stuff. Let's go. Loving this box. It smells great. The produce box is seasonal and we never know what we're going to get. It's fun to try new items we wouldn't actually buy ourselves. Well, we've had a lot of the green stuff lately and we're feeling something sweet, so Kaylee and I headed over to American Bites. Josh and I don't do much for Valentine's Day, so it's the day after and we decided to go get something sweet. So we're at a place called American Bites, we have a cookie and a brownie for a little over eight euros. All right, we are at the mall uh, on Santa Catarina, it's called Via Catarina, and we're gonna pick up some stuff for Sia. She's got a little bit of a cough, uh, and there's a natural store here, and then a few groceries. I went to a store called Celero, but they didn't have what I was looking for, so I'll have to look another time. While I was in there, Josh picked up a few groceries. 
Our friends are in town and they're staying at the Yotel with 30% off for the restaurant, so we're gonna head and meet them for dinner. It's just ready. We ordered some, okay? Kaylee and I weren't super hungry, so we split a steak dish, and a go-to for Sia is a charcuterie board and fries. So we got those as well. Let's put the fries in the water. So every two weeks, there's a group of us expat guys and we head to a different restaurant. This usually happens on Fridays around noon, so we have a lunch. Today, we're going to Pedro dos Frangos. It's our date day. Our favorite roasters in Porto is called So Roasters. We buy coffee for home from them. We needed coffee, so we got that, and since we were in the shop, we grabbed two coffees to go also. They normally have snacks, but they were out of what Sia likes, so we stopped nearby to get her a pastel donata. But she can't have all the fun, so Josh and I got something to share. All right, game day. We just had some food at Wilson and now we're headed to the FC Porto match. Let's go. There are one to three home matches in a month. If you do get a season ticket, just know when the schedule comes out, they put the home games over the right weekend as placeholders. But as time gets closer, they finalize what day it's actually on. So it might start off listed as a Saturday, but it could change to Friday or Sunday or even Monday. Here's the real reason Sia comes to the games. Vienna is the female mascot, and this, to dance. We shared this experience with our Portuguese friends who had fun, but they're actually Boa Vista fans. All right, the produce box has given us a salad, basically, so we're gonna have salad for dinner. Just got my haircut. It was 12 euros, and I'm headed home. I did tip him a euro. I always like to take care of my guy. I know it's a little, but uh, yeah, I always appreciate him. This was our first time having a meetup in Matazinhos. We had it at Fino Golf Club, which is a screen golf place owned by an American named Tam. We have Tam on the podcast to chat a little more about living in Portugal, the food and music scene, and how his business came to life. Our podcast is called Expats Everywhere Presents Let's Move to Portugal, so head there for more in-depth conversations. If you want to make sure that you don't miss any of the meetups, then email Kaylee at info at expatseverywhere.com. We only spent $6.60. However, a few people bought us drinks, so thanks for that. We could have taken the Metro home, but since it was getting late, we decided to get an Uber to get home faster so Sia could get in bed. We were out running errands and got a little hungry, so we popped into a cafe for a snack. Here's an example of something that we eat. Sia got home pretty late from swimming today, so went ahead and made some quick food from leftovers and other things that we had. Kaylee, what are we here for? Um, still looking for some like natural cough syrup for Sia. We were at the mall the other day, they didn't have what I was looking for. So here's another organic type place, store, that I'm looking for it here. Later today, two of our favorite teams collide, so I had to get the match scarf. Alright, we just stopped off at the Pingo Dos nearby us. It was $32.84 for a, a bag of groceries. And we're gonna head home now. The day has come. We're headed to the Dragão for FC Porto versus Arsenal. Let's go. We left early to take in the atmosphere and enjoy a non-alcoholic beer. We have the first right of refusal to our seats, but have to pay extra for these tickets. Just grabbing a water and some popcorn. For Champions League, the stadium is clearly different, with the stadium being full and the atmosphere being insane. Porto won with the last kick of the game. We have a bit of a double whammy, no surprise. Sia got to bed late, so she got up late because of Champions League yesterday, and it's also raining, so 
car to school. Good morning. We are awake at uh, 4.30. It's 4.35 right now in the morning. We're headed to the airport. We have flights out to Sevilla, picking up a rental car, and then going to Soto Grande to film a video. We weren't 100% sure what all we should include for this portion of the cost of living, but our Uber to the airport is 11.05 from the city center to the airport at this time. I do have a promotion. And we're taking a plane. And we're taking a plane. Join us. We went to the south of Spain for work, so most of these expenses won't go on here since this is for work and not personal. However, we are going to make a separate video that will go on our Patreon page to show what a trip like this would cost if you want to travel around Europe. We decided to add a couple things as it's likely we would have spent something similar on food out while in Porto. So if you want to see that, be sure to join our Patreon community by clicking the link in the description section or simply by going to patreon.com forward slash expats everywhere. We're back in Porto and need food, so Kaylee ordered groceries online. People have been raving about the bagels at Cafe Passaport, so we went to check them out. The owner, Emily, is American, so we plan on having her on the channel. Her boyfriend is Brazilian, and he's here too, so check for their videos about life as expats in Portugal. Hmm. Which one's better? I don't know, they're both really good. That cheese is good. This I've is had good. the bottom part of my bagel though. I'm saving <laughs> the top part for a second. Oh, so. is that right? All right, Sia has had this persistent cough, so I am on the way to her school to pick her up at normal time, but take a car to Koof. I got a private appointment for her. Take her to get checked out by the pediatrician to see what's going on. The doctor prescribed a few things for Sia for her cough and for her ears, and it was 1724. I went out to watch an FC Porto way match on TV with friends. Today's the last day of vlogging. It's raining outside. Valencia's feeling a little under the weather, but she's still going to school. So, Uber time. Actually, this is Bolt. Lunch time here, garbanzo beans, chicken, pasta, and some chicken broth. Mmm. <laughs> Yummy. Well, this is a surprise. Kaylee has just messaged me and she has witnessed an accident on her way to pick up Sia from school. And uh, looking at the time, I need to jump off here and go get Sia. I'm gonna have to pick her up in a car. Kaylee was gonna walk and get her. But uh, no, I'm gonna have to grab a car. So unfortunately, another car. Since I saw the accident, I told them I could wait with them until the police arrived to be a witness. The weather was bad, so in true Portuguese fashion, they kindly invited me to wait in the car with them. All right, 30 days is over and it's time to tally the results. And we were actually really surprised just now looking at the numbers and seeing that we have beaten inflation in a way <laughs> and, and, and we've saved some money. Let us break down exactly what we've done and what different line items we've actually saved on because some things have gone up, some things have gone down. One thing we do, do need to caveat about this whole thing is that we do have some expenses for our daughter that's wrapped up into this. So if you're looking at this from a perspective of just two adults, uh, then you're going to be able to subtract probably 20, 25% of what we've done because we've you know had to have school, her school fees, fees and stuff. activities, a little bit of food for her. So if you're just looking for a couple, you can subtract a little from what we've done. However, if you're coming with a family, then keep that in mind that you might have some of that as well. Yeah, so the difference from 2023 to 2024, 2023, we were around 3,600 euros per month during that month where we logged every single penny. And now we're uh, just below 3,100. So we've saved uh, about 550 in um Overall expenses, expenses yeah. yeah. If you want to see that video from last year, we'll put it in the description below. But after last year's, Josh was like, oh, we're spending too much money. And not that we try to change anything, of course, this year. But I think when you track your budget, you're like, whoa, we're spending money on that. So if you want to see that video and compare this year's and last year's, it'll be in the description. Okay. One unfair advantage we had was in rent. We have a really good rapport with the, uh, the, the, the owner of the property that we live in, the landlord. And we actually decreased rent while most people's went up. Mm -hmm. So ours dropped by 50. Uh, healthcare was a huge one that shifted. We had a healthcare plan through Millennium Bank and that 
that was changed whenever we got linked up with a broker and the broker was able to save us 130 euros. So that was great. Our tithe is about the same. Then bills, we did go up. The bills went up, I think mainly because of the weather that we had uh, during this period of logging compared to last year's. Food was basically the same. So we were eating more or less the same. Actually, in 2023, we probably went out. Well, we definitely went out to eat more. <laughs> yeah, but, a lot of you commented on that. <laughs> but but yeah, we did have a savings uh, even though we were eating at home more. Yeah, I think we just got a bit savvier with the things that we ordered and we didn't buy the uh, any of the kind of foreign specialty products, stuff, specialty yeah. stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. Transportation went up though because... Valencia. And rain. (laughs) Oh, yes. Yeah. So getting to school, uh, we have to walk, which we like to do. But if it's raining, then we can't, of course, with her. So we have to take a car. Yeah. Now, entertainment is where it exploded this month just because there were some really fun things that we could do. So it went up by 150 euros. (laughs) That Uh, ebbs and flows, though, obviously, depending on when certain, you know, for us, it's soccer games. If you're going to go see a concert or a movie comes out, so that entertainment will ebb and flow for sure. Yeah. I would say across the year, our normal budget is like 100 a month. If, if you want to be real about it, not like every month we spend a hundred, but like on some average. months we don't spend much. Yeah. So on average it's probably a hundred. Yeah. So like I said, food and beverage is where we really made a savings, right? We did not eat out as much. And when we did, we went to Portuguese type foods. That's right. Restaurants. Local yeah. Local. Mm-hmm. That definitely keeps the cost down. Yeah. And I think honestly, last year we had just gotten a bit burnt out on having uh, Portuguese food. So we kind of switched it up. And also too, a lot like newer restaurants were popping up. So it was yeah. new things to try. Well, still newer restaurants are popping up, but we're even a bit fatigued from that. Like trying That's all the true. Things. And there's always something new. It seems like. <laughs> yeah. So Sia's expenses, our, our daughter Valencia, we call her Sia for short, her expenses dropped a little bit, but it really wasn't a true drop. It was just very dependent on kind of the special things that happened in that month, whether it be going to a play with school or something like that. Right. And then some dropped a little bit too with activities because family members have gifted activities yes. for her. So swimming lessons, ballet, some of those were a little lower and just Christmas because gifts, of, yeah, because of Christmas and birthday gifts. Yeah, exactly. We did have to purchase some clothes. So in 2023, during that time period, we, we didn't buy any clothes. We didn't uh, need to spend anything in the clo- clothing budget, but uh, this time we we had to buy some stuff for like costumes, really. Right, specialty. We talked about that in the video where we had a birthday party and there was a special attire that we had to find clothes for. So there was that. Yeah, personal grooming. We had a savings of seventy one euros. Um, I think that was just mainly you not doing some personal grooming stuff. Right, maybe not. I hadn't gotten my nails done or some of my moisturizers I didn't need. I'm stocked up. So or you're finding cheaper alternatives. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So then travel, we didn't do any travel during this time period that was expensed as personal travel, Uh, whereas last year we did make an impromptu trip to Lisbon to watch Arsenal play (laughs) sports. That's true, yeah. Um, But then again, shifting back over to entertainment, we spent a lot of money on the Champions League tickets watching Arsenal play Porto. Yeah, because that was here though, so we didn't have to travel for it. (laughs) That's it. So that was kind of just the shift in, in that money, really, just about. Uh, And we also paid for points in 2023, so we saved on hotel costs, Uh, so we just used points, so it was a free night at the hotel. Right, so we didn't have any personal travel, but we did have some work travel, which we're not accounting in this final budget, right? Yeah, exactly. Uh, Home cleaning, we didn't get the the house cleaned this month. We haven't actually done it much in the past six months. No, I think, think, well, I I have been doing it maybe every six to eight weeks or so, and yeah, we just haven't really used it. I mean, like more... You think we're more off? Oh, yeah. Recently, we haven't done it as much. Just, I don't know. The apartment's been clean. We've been cleaning a bit more ourselves, but eventually we'll get it again because it's a bit of a deeper clean. It is. But I think what. Before we move out. Right. And what ended up happening is we were cleaning a bit more anyway because it seemed like stuff was getting dustier quickly and that was affecting our allergies. Yes. Right. So we were doing a lot more cleaning like on a day to day basis, which maybe is why the deeper cleaning can be pushed off a little longer. Absolutely. And lastly, uh, Kaylee doesn't really want to talk about this, but I'll go ahead and mention it. Uh, in 2023, uh, we 
we're taking into account our pets expense uh, expenses. So our dog peen show um, was a pretty big expense around a hundred euros a month is what we were spending on him. And unfortunately he passed away at the end of 2023. So we don't have that expense. That's a hundred euros expense that we don't have anymore. So thank Moving you all. On. <laughs> yeah. So some people already knew about that. And we really appreciate uh, your kind words regarding the loss of Pincho. So uh, that's where we stood and that's how we saved the money that we did. So pretty big savings from the year before. Has inflation hit? Definitely in certain ways. Mm -hmm. But the more experience you get living here in Portugal or anywhere you live abroad, the savvier you get, the, the better you get at finding ways to lower the cost. So uh, we really appreciate you joining us for this video. On more information about Portugal, please hit the subscribe button and continue to follow us uh, in this, this journey that we've had here in Portugal. And if you're interested in watching more, see what YouTube recommends right here, as we'd love to have you in the journey. Now, let's get moving. Bye. Bye.